Well, the interesting rumor all over the place today, so let's get into it. We'll start with a tweet. What better way to celebrate the anniversary of the Xbox now with a birthday surprise? I can independently confirm and share with you that Halo Infinite Multiplayer will be made available on November 15th. Next up, we have from Halo Hub. Go follow them on Twitter, check out their site. They do great work. Uh, they start off with a quote from Joe Staten from Gamescom. That's right, it's a big year and for this 20th anniversary. We might have something a little special up their sleeves. Hmm. This is where this is where things get interesting. Very interesting. As many as many of you know are aware, they've been researching the possibility of integrating infinite MCC test stat tracking for months. So many months ago they found out how to pull data from through the servers. A number of other people have also done this. Some of our sources that we can't name told us to have a dig around the data and you know, we can pull something from through the servers and here what well, and here is what they found. Now here's more. This it brings us to today. Earlier earlier today, a user by the name of uh at Evil Boris tweeted out a screenshot of data mined from the Xbox store showing showed a hidden early release package data from November 15th, which coincides with the 20th anniversary of Xbox and Halo. In case you weren't aware, this anniversary is a big deal. Xbox rebranded their website and they're throwing a live on the 15th. You can find those times below. Let's look at the meta date, shall we? You know, right here, like two dates highlighted for November 15th, twice. And it's noted, and it should be noted, that the uh, store only listed the campaign for December 8th. So, so that, that should, I guess, tell us something. And one more thing, too. They they also found uh, data for the fracture events. The dates are week one, November twenty third to November 29th, week two, January fourth to January tenth, and week three, February first to February seventh, and that's it. Okay, let's start off with the. Okay, I am conflicted on this because you know on one hand. I would be very excited because, like, I thought the multiplayer was a ton of fun in the flight, and I can't wait to actually play the full multiplayer suite, whatever they have planned. But, from, on the other hand, you know, they were saying for months, like, I think even a year, that, they're, you know, that the game wouldn't be split, you know, like, the game would come out with both the single player and the multiplayer at the same time. But, on the other hand, like the article said, why would they have the data services ready if the game wasn't going to be out for weeks? So, I mean, that is a good point that they made, so... So, I guess, you know... Like I said, like, it, it, sound, it sounds very exciting that we possibly could be playing uh, mul the multiplayer of Halo Infinite in just a couple of days, obviously. You know, considering that there's a lot of hype surrounding the game. And here's something else, too. You know, Microsoft just released Forza Horizon 5, which is doing very well. I think it reached, like, over 6 million players at this point, which is the biggest launch for that series entirely. And also, I imagine EA would not be too pleased, considering that, you know, Battlefield is coming out, you know, this week. You know, you know the full version of it outside of Early Access. And Microsoft has the marketing for that game as well. So, so... So that's so that's definitely would put the relationship between Microsoft and EA in a dilemma. So, so I guess you know I guess what I'm gonna say is like you know I'm okay. Initially when the rumor came out, I wasn't as lenient on it, saying that you know maybe I wasn't gonna make a video on it. But the fact that new information came out seemingly kind of backs it up. I'm starting to think it, this might be true, but we'll find out. I guess we'll find out in a couple of days. And it's interesting that. Usually, 3 for 3 has been pretty good with shutting down, like, you know, rumors that are, are that are wrong. But they haven't said anything on this yet. And if they don't speak out about this rumor in, like, the next day or two, yeah, it, it's legit. So, it's pretty interesting because it would be, like, a shadow drop, but it would be a good way to celebrate the 20th anniversary in a big way, like the article said. So, what do you guys think of this rumor? Do you think it's true, or do you think, you know... It's just all coincidence, coincidence that this data was in there, and that you know, it, that it, but it being false. So tell me what you think. I'm pretty interested in seeing seeing your guys' reaction to this. So if you like this video, drop some likes, would you? And c comment down below, and consider subscribing to the channel so you do not miss out any new content. And this is Andrew from Halo Gaming. Once again, signing out. Have a good one.